Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. The entrance antiphon. God is in his holy place. God who unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. We offer this Mass for Virginia Chrysler. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us in a moment of silence call to mind our sins. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns between each of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to me, mother, that you gave me birth, a man of strife and contention to all the land. I neither borrow nor lend, yet all curse me. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and happiness of my heart. Because I bore your name, O Lord, God of hosts, I did not sit celebrating in the circle of the merrymakers. Under the weight of your hand, I sat alone, because you filled me with indignation. Why is my pain continuous, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? You have indeed became me a treacherous brook, whose waters do not abide. Thus the Lord answered me, if you repent, so I will restore you. In my presence you shall stand. If you bring forth the precious life without the vial, you shall be my mouthpiece. Then it shall be they who turn to you and you not turn to them. I will make you towards, I will make you towards the, this people a solid wall of brass. Though they fight against you, they shall not prevail. For I am with you to deliver and rescue you, says the Lord. I will free you from the hand of the wicked and rescue you from the grasp of the violent. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is... God is my refuge on the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Rescue me from my enemies, O my God, for my adversaries defend me. Rescue me from evildoers, from the bloodthirsty men, save me. God is my refuge on the day of distress. For behold, they lie in wait for for my life. Mighty men come together against me, not for any offense or sin of mine, O Lord. God is my refuge on the day of distress. O my strength, for you I watch for you. O God, are my stronghold. As for my God, may his mercy go before me. May you show, may he show me the fall of my foes. God is my rescue it's on the day of distress. But I will sing of your strength and revel at dawn in your mercy. You have my, you have been my stronghold. 
my refuge in the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. O oh, my strength, you praise will I sing. For you, O oh God, are my stronghold. Be merciful, God. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Alleluia, alleluia. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field which a person finds and hides again and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and he sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. People of God, today we are presented with two of four parables which come at the end of Jesus' teachings in Matthew chapter 13. The entire text will be Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 to 52. The entire text, once again, is chapter 13, verse 44 to 52. And in the entire text, you will have four parables. Today we are presented with the first two, and tomorrow we shall have the last two. And so you know what to do when you go back home. Just read the entire text to get what Jesus is actually saying. The first two presented today are the same. They speak about two people who are searching. They are in search. The first one, my dearly beloved, in search of a field. But he found one field which had a treasure. A treasure in that field. And once, my dearly beloved, he saw that treasure, that priceless treasure, what does he do? He goes back home, he sells everything he has, and he comes back and buys this treasure. But remember, he goes with so much joy and excitement, selling everything and coming back to buy that field because of the treasure. The second one, my dearly beloved, is in search of fine pearls. This man encounters this pearl, which is priceless. And he also goes back and he sells everything and comes back to buy this fine pearls. My dear people of God, Jesus in this text is telling us about the first reaction or attitude towards his teachings, towards the word of God. And that first reaction, my dearly beloved, is very radical. The last two, which will be presented tomorrow, are probably less radical. The first two, my dearly beloved, are very radical. Like St. Paul on his way to Damascus and encountered Jesus and radically there was a turn around. Like Zacchaeus who encountered Jesus while he was going through Jericho. And there was a radical turn around. Like the disciples of Jesus when they were called 
and they left everything to follow him. My dearly beloved, some reaction to the words of Jesus, to the teachings of Jesus, are very radical. And these two, my dearly beloved, are the same. There is a radical reaction, a radical attitude towards the word of God, towards the teachings of Jesus. Why? They cannot have both worlds. They must decide and settle on one. In our world today, my dearly beloved, there has to be that kind of radical attitude towards the word of God and towards the teachings of Jesus. And that will remind me of my days in high school. There was a song we used to sing. And this song had the refrain, which went like this, I surrender all, I surrender all. All to thee, my savior, I surrender all. The bad boys in the school, it was a Catholic boys school, one of the best Catholic boys schools in West Africa. The bad boys will sit at the back and while the good ones are singing, I surrender all, the bad boys will sing, I surrender some. Which will mean that even at that age, under 18 years, we're still thinking that we couldn't surrender all, so we will surrender all to Jesus. And then we can keep some. But dearly beloved, this reading is inviting all of us to surrender all. To let go of everything that you can have Jesus in your life. That you can have a relationship with God. And that is how radical this parable is. There's always going to be a reaction, my dear beloved, to the words of Jesus, to the teachings of Jesus, to the word of God. But in this text, Mother Church is inviting all of us through the parables of Jesus to make a radical turnaround and respond to the good news of Christ. There is no other way. It is impossible, my dear beloved, to surrender some. It is either we have all or nothing. Shall we rise in prayer? For church leaders, may the Holy Spirit continue to empower them in effective, grace-filled ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected officials, may they work to bring about a just society for everyone, especially for those whose voices are unheard. Let us pray to the Lord. For those persecuted for righteousness' sake, may God bless them with courage and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. For this worship community, May God grant us the wisdom to serve through faithful listening. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have passed from this life, may they be shepherded by our compassionate God into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For our personal and private intentions, let us pause in the silence of our hearts. that our world may respond to the teachings of Jesus. Let us ask our mother Mary to intercede on our behalf as we pray. Hail Mary. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Father, we thank you for listening to our prayers as you do each day. We trust you will answer them according to your perfect will through Christ our Lord. 
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the cross of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that it will become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, your resurrection, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of church, Tudor Francis, our Pope, and William Johnson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Virginia Christler, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in each of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, We are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Have a wonderful day. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.